Kelly O'Neill here, a.k.a. Sergeant Dog. We're in Harrison County for a tournament. Cedartown will be playing two games today. The first game is against Mount Zion, and the second game is against Harrison County at 2 o'clock. Uh, we're having a conference at the plate right now with the two coaches and the umpires, and they have determined which is home and which is visitor, but I don't know yet. I'll have to ask somebody. Uh, get her going over ground rules and uh, sharing pleasantries and uh, getting ready to play some ball here. I'll have to ask the umpire who's home and who's visitor. Right now I have Cedartown as home, but I have a feeling that Mount Zion won that uh, coin toss, so I'll have to change it. This is a pre-recorded video. The um, internet service down here is, is not good enough for me to attempt a stream. I've done it before and it's so frustrating, so I'm not going through that. The video would be skippy. You wouldn't enjoy it. This is gonna be a lot better. Just gonna have to wait a little bit before you see it. But uh, I guarantee you, you'll like this better than a live version due to the internet signal. So the lineup for Cedartown, in case you didn't get it a while ago, I think I have myself muted. Uh, batting first is Taylor. She's playing shortstop. Batting second is Haven, playing center field. Batting third is Kendall. She'll be catching. Batting fourth, Ivory, playing third base. Batting fifth is Avery, playing first base. The designated player is Logan, batting sixth. Batting seventh is Annabeth O'Neill. She's playing second base. Batting eighth is Chastity Washington, playing left field. Batting ninth is Hannah Cochran, playing right field. And Daly will be the, uh, I guess she's the flex player, um, but she'll be pitching. So the battery for Cedar Town is going to be um, Daly and Kendall. And let me see, I can give you the lineup for Mount Zion. I have it, uh, believe it or not. Uh, number one is the first hitter is Hogshead. She plays shortstop. The number two hitter is Lippard. She plays center field. Number three hitter, A. Corn. She plays first base. The fourth hitter is Woods, the third baseman. Batting fifth is Phillips, the pitcher. Batting sixth is, the tur is Turner, the catcher. That's your battery. Cross playing right field is batting seventh. Bird playing left field is batting eighth. And Frazier is playing second base and batting ninth. I'm going to ask Blue who's the home team. Hey, Blue. Who's, who's the home? Hey, Blue. Who's the home home teams over there? Okay, thank you. All right. So just as I thought, I'm going to have to change these around. Thankfully, I've got a lot of practice of this, and I know how to do it quickly. <laughs> Through the miracle of technology, it's fixed. We got Cedarton as the visiting team, and uh, Mount Zion is the home team with the great colors. And, uh, okay, you can see the Mount Zion players now in their uniforms. They're all gray, gray top, although the, gray, the top does have red and white stripes with uh, gray pants and looks like red socks with gray and white stripes. So the first three hitters from for Cedartown are Taylor, Haven and Kendall. It looks like we're ready. Mount Zion has completed their warm ups. Umpire takes his place. Coach Little takes his spot at first base. Coach Monroe at third. Taylor in the box. 
And Blues to his play ball. And the pitch. Ball low. And inside. And the pitch. Ball is hit foul off to the left side. It was a little bit high. And uh, Taylor got up under it a little bit and pulled it down the left field side in the parking lot. And the pitcher may have changed speeds a little bit. Here's the 1-1 delivery. Ball is fouled back out of play. Count is one and two now to Taylor. That ball looked a little high and a little outside for Taylor. And here's the one two delivery. That one was where she wanted it, and it's in the gap in left center field. She'll get two out of it. Good piece of hitting by Taylor with a one two count on her. So Cedartown has a runner in scoring position now. Uh, the leadoff hitter, actually. And up to bat is Haven Barclay, our center fielder. The sun is about to be upon us. And Haven attempts a bunt. It goes down to third base side foul. Haven's pretty good about finding the open spot to hit the ball to. Is All right, I'm back and I had a, was having a discussion with uh, Jennifer right there. I don't need my umbrella. Huh? Where's your car? Oh, right up there. Uh, I know the count is one and two at least. Um, hey, Aaron. And foul back. I have to wait till Blue gives me a signal. I was. Uh, I was having a discussion with uh, Jennifer. I'm going to need my umbrella to to shade this uh, the screen. I won't be able to see it. But I believe the count's at least two and two. And attempt uh, or a punch hit down the third base side foul by Haven. And the pitch to Haven. Ball low. I think the count is full now. Let's see what Blue says. 2-2. Two, two. Okay. Count is even. Haven steps in the box. And the pitch. Ball is hit to left field. Left field gets under it. Makes the catch. And Taylor retreats to second base. So it's one out now for Kendall Howard. Taylor, Westmoreland on second base. Kendall steps in the box and the pitch. Ball is hit foul, then the left field side. Strike one. Give a shout out to Charlie Howard. I was talking to him earlier today. He's at work. And the pitch. Ball. Oh, excuse me. Strike. 
It uh, painted that outside corner. Taylor, uh, Taylor Westmoreland takes third on the pitch. Looks like she might have got a Charlie horse or something there when she slid. Sometimes that hard ground will eat you up when you slide. Okay. Yep, thank you. That's good. Foul, tip back. I'm setting up my umbrella here. Thank you. That sun's going to be here upon us very shortly. And I'm going to need a shade. All right. I believe the count. Let's see. The ball's hit the third base. Third base fields. Throws to first for the out. Gets by the first baseman. Taylor will score. Kendall will go down to second base. So Cedar Town scores on an errant throw by the third baseman. And it also allows uh, Kendall to make it to second base. And she will get a pinch runner in Heather. Henry Heather. Uh, excuse me. Uh, Heather Henry. I'll get it right in a minute. Up to bat now is Ivory Boozer with a runner on second base. And Cedar Town has scored a run. So it's one to nothing, Cedar Town. Heather Henry on second base. One out. And Ivory steps in the box. Blue takes his position. And the pitch. Ball outside. Top of the first inning here. Harrison County High School Tournament. Cedar Town playing Mount Zion and the pitch. The ball is hit to in the gap in right center field. That ball is going to fall in for at least a double. Heather turn, rounds third. She's going to score on a RBI double by Ivory Boozer. So Cedar Town strikes again for, for two runs now. And up to bat is Avery Davis, a first baseman. And the pitch. Ball low and outside. And the pitch. Oh, Avery fouled that one off up into her uh, helmet there. I don't know if it hit her. It looked like it might have hit below the helmet. We'll make sure she's okay. Coach Monroe is checking her out. Kind of strange the way that ball bounced up there off of her bat. And it did hit her jaw, I think. Went up under the, the helmet, under the face mask. Blue will give her a moment to gather herself. Hopefully it didn't loosen the tooth or anything there. Risky business softball sometimes. And here's the pitch. Ball high and outside. Two and one now to Avery. And the two one delivery. Ball is hit hard to left field. Is the is the is the park gonna hold it? It's foul, but it was out of the park. Crushed by Avery. I'm looking over at Dad now. Almost, almost a home run by Avery. Count is two and two now. Hey, how much? Foul ball down the third base side. I mean, it just missed being a home run by, I think, two feet. Count is two and two to Avery now. We have a runner on second. One out. And the pitch. 
Ball is hit hard to third. Third fields throws to first. It's a wild throw. Gets by the first baseman. Ivory is going to come around to score. Avery rounds second base and stays right there. And now, now she goes to third, and she is safe. That, that dirt is kind of sticky out there. She almost didn't make it to the bag, but that was uh, it's another run for Cedartown. And up to bat is Logan. We have a runner on third now with one out. And the pitch, ball outside. And Beth O'Neill on deck. Or Bo, as I call her. And the pitch. Ooh, the ball's hit to left center field. Is somebody going to come and get it? Or come across the left fielder. She makes the catch. Avery tags from third. And Cedartown scores another run. So it's a sack fly by Logan Little. Good job of hitting. Brought in the run. That's what you want to do. All right, two outs now for Annabeth. For both. See if we can do something with two outs here now. Cedartown has plated four runs in the top of the first, and the pitch is ball outside. Annabeth playing second base tonight or today. I'd say that's probably the position she's most comfortable with, and here's the pitch. Ball is hit to shortstop. Shortstop fields. Can't hold it. Annabeth with her speed is safe at first base. The ball gets away from the first baseman. Annabeth is going down to second. Here's the throw. There's the slide, and she's safe at second. Good job of hustle right there by Annabeth. Oh, so we get something going here. We have uh, Annabeth on second base. Uh, that was an error on the shortstop, and she goes all the way down to second is with the errant throw to first base. And up to bat now is Speedy Chastity Washington playing left field. It's ball one. She was always good for a couple of extra bases in a ball game <clears throat> if you can get her out there to run. And the pitch, because she, she can run faster than anybody out there. Um, like I said, she's good for a couple of extra bases in every ball game if she gets out there to run. I like having her in the lineup. I like having extra speed in the lineup. And there's a ball foul. Count is one and two now. Chastity playing left field. Two outs. The count is one and two. She can't take anything close. And here's the pitch. Ball outside, almost gets away from the catcher. And Beth goes about a third of the way down. So now the count is even, two balls, two strikes to Chastity. And the pitch. Ball's fouled back. It was a little high, but she didn't want to take it. And I'll blame her. I said it many times, you don't want to leave your fate to the umpire. When you got two strikes on you, uh, don't let the ump, ump decide whether you're out or not. You need to swing if it's that close. And the pitch. Ball is hit hard over a shortstop. Anna Beth is going to round third. She's going to score. <coughs> Chastity <coughs> goes to second. Goes to second on the throw to the cutoff, and I'm telling you, that right there is a good example of why speed can help you. Anybody else would have been out at second base. But Chastity, with her speed, she was able to get there. Now up to bat for Cedartown is Hannah Cochran. Strike called. We have scored one run with two outs, and we have a runner in scoring position now. And the pitch to Hannah. Ball is hit hard to shortstop. Shortstop fields, throws the first, and throws the way again. Chassis is going to score easily. They're having a tough time at first base over there. So that's six runs now. Hannah is at first base on an errant throw. And uh, up to bat now is the top of the order, Taylor Westmoreland. 
It's like Blue, I mean, uh, the uh, Mount Zion coach is probably the pitching coach, I think, is on the mound drawing in the infield saying, guys, we got to make our throws to first. And from my, from my vantage point, I can't tell if it's the first baseman or bad throws. So I just know they just get by over there at least three times in this inning. Coach saying we just need one out, girls. Let's go. And that's right. But we got a hitter coming up, Taylor Westmoreland. It's going to be a tough out for you, I guarantee you. We have a runner on first and Hannah Cochran. The score is six to zero, Cedartown in the first inning. <clears throat> and the pitch to Taylor is hit to right field. Right field drifts. I don't think she did make the catch. All right. So that's three outs. And that'll do it for the top half of the first inning. But Cedartown scores six runs to uh, set the pace here. Oh, we will be right back, folks. back and uh, let's see up to bat for Mount Zion is Hogshead on deck is Lepard and in the hole is Corn. and if anybody should get on we'll see Woods the third baseman as I mentioned your battery is Daly and Kendall for Cedartown Kendall throws down the ball to second base Cedartown completes their warm-ups and we're getting ready to start the bottom half of the second inning. Six to zero, Cedartown. Cedartown taking advantage of uh, a few errors by Mount Zion. Also has some timely hitting, so you know you're putting the ball in play, and that's that's what's important. So Daly gets her sign. And here's the pitch. Ball just inside. And the pitch. Ball is it to the right side. Hannah drifts over, but it's too too out of her reach. Strike one. The ball was right up against the fence. Kind of a lazy foul ball pop up. Count is one and one now. And the pitch, ball high. And I, ho I hope I'm pronouncing this name right, but it's. Hogshead, H-O-G-S-E-D, the shortstop for Mount Zion. Counts two and one now. And the pitch. Ball is hit hard to right center. It's going to go, hit the gap, and Haven Fields throws to the cutoff. Annabeth O'Neill and a double, leadoff double by Hogshead. And uh, Mount Zion making some noise here. They have a runner on second base now. 
And up to bat is Lepard, L-E-P-A-R-D. She is the center fielder. And the pitch. Ball high. Daly Hodgins, a senior pitcher for Cedartown, checks the dugout, gets her sign, toes the rubber, and the pitch. Ball high. Count is 2-0 oh now to Lepard. The sun is upon us now, but I've got my umbrella. Nice little breeze blowing in the pitch. Runner squares around a bunch. She goes about halfway down. The ball is thrown to third, and she goes back to second base. The hitter kind of faked like she was going to bunt and pulled back. I believe the count is 3-0 and now. Daly gets her sign and the pitch. She squares around the bunt again and pulls back. So the count must be three and one. The runner on second base is tempting Kendall. She was down a good one third of the base there between second and third. And so that's a walk to Lepard and up to bat now is Corn. So now Mount Zion has two runners on, nobody out. In the pitch, she squares around the bunt, strike called. Kittle does the right thing, throw down the third. She for sure squares. She was squaring around, and that this is a perfect situation to do that. Sacrifice bunt to move your both runners in scoring position. So the corners are going to be crashing here for Cedartown. First base and third base will be crashing. And the pitch, she squares around the bunts, foul ball. So now the count is no balls and two strikes to corn. It'd be interesting to see if she tries to bunt again. It's not advisable, but nobody says you can't do it. Problem is, if she fouls off another one trying to bunt, it'll be strike three. Daly got her sign from the dugout. And the pitch. Ball. Oh, ball is hit to up past uh, Taylor at shortstop. So that's going to score a run. It's a well hit ball to the left of Taylor. So Mount Zion wasting no time um answering Cedartown with a runner of their own in the first inning with nobody out and we still have runners at first and second coach Monroe goes out to the uh mound to have a discussion with Daly and the, the infielders <laughs> coach Monroe retreats to the dugout and the Infield breaks apart and goes to their respective positions. No outs runs on first and second. Woods up to bat. Ball low. Woods, uh, who is Mount Zion's third baseman. Count is 1-0. And, oh. and the pitch from Daly. Ball high and outside. 2-0 and oh now. To Woods. Phillips on deck. She is the pitcher. Two and zero oh to the Mount Zion hitter. 
She'll be looking for something good to hit. And the pitch. Strike call. Great pitch. Outside corner. Two and one now. And the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Count is even. Two balls, two strikes. To the number four hitter of Woods. For Mount Zion. Here's the 2-2 delivery from Daly. Swing and a miss. Change up. Very good pitch. Strike three, and now we have one out. And up to bat now is the pitcher for Mount Zion Phillips. They were grabbing the rosin bag to soak up the sweat on her hand and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Down low. Good pitch. On deck is Turner, who is the catcher for Mount Zion. <coughs> and here's the pitch from Daly. The ball is hit to th down the third base side, but foul. So the count is no balls and two strikes now to the Mount Zion pitcher. Phillips. Be nice to get this out right here. And the pitch. Ball is it down. Well, it was right in front of her, but it was foul. I was shielded from it. The count remains 0-2. to the uh, Mount Zion hitter Phillips. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike three. It's two outs now. We just need one out. And it will end the, uh, the little rally that uh, Mount Zion started with. And here's the pitch from Daly. The ball is popped up. Taylor camps under it and makes the catch at shortstop for the third out. So that'll do it for the first inning of play here in Harrison County with the score, Cedartown 6, Mount Zion 1, and we'll be right back.
All right. Here we are at the top half of the second inning of the bat is Haven Barclay. And here's the pitch. Haven hits it down the first base side through the first baseman's leg for a for a base. Well, it wouldn't be a base hit. It's an error on the first baseman. But she did make it to first base, which is what counts here. And up to bat now is number 14, Kendall Howard. Who definitely has the power to take the ball out of this ballpark here. And the pitch, Haven attempts to steal, but the ball is fouled by Kendall. So Haven goes back to first. Strike one on Kendall. May have been a hit and run, I'm not sure. One strike on Kendall, and here's the pitch. Ball is hit to left field. Left field drifts under, makes the catch. Haven was stealing, so she has to come back to uh, first base. That's one out now. And up to bat for Cedartown is Ivory, our third baseman. And the pitch to Ivory. Ball is hit to right field. The right fielder can't make it. It's going to go almost to the fence. Haven is rounding third. She's going to score. Ivory going to third. She's going to have a stand-up triple, RBI triple. So Ivory's having herself a day here. Cedartown scores a run off the triple by Ivory. And up to bat now is Avery who darn near hit a home run in her first at bat. And the pitch, ball high, just high. So Avery steps back in the box. And the pitch, ball outside, count two and oh. So right now Avery can dig in and look for something really good to hit right here. And she did foul straight back. That was close. Count two and one now. May have been just a little bit high for her. She took a good cut at it. We did not have a runner at first. And the pitch. Ball is hit. Foul down the third base side. So now the count is even. Two balls and two strikes to Avery. We have a runner on third, one out. We've played it one run in this inning. Score is Cedartown seven, Mount Zion one. And the pitch to Avery. A little bit outside and Avery was just able to get a piece of the bat on it. So count remains two and two. That hit the very tip end of her bat. And the pitch, ball outside, the count goes full now. On deck is Logan Little, who is the designated player. And the pitch, ball is hit to left field, it's popped up, shortstop drifts under, makes the catch, Ivory tags, she's gonna be safe at home. So that's a sacrifice fly by Avery. Cedar Templates another run. Bases are clear now. Two outs with Logan Little up to bat and Bo O'Neill on deck. Let's see if we can do it again with two outs. Here's the pitch to Logan. Ball low. If you're wondering about this delay <clears throat> broadcast, it, the, the signal is so bad down here, I don't even want to attempt it. So what, I've, what I'm doing is I'm recording this game, and uh, I'm going to post it later on YouTube and Facebook. 
you'll enjoy it a lot better because it's hopefully it's not going to be skipping around like it would if I was trying to broadcast. And the pitch, ball is hit the third. Count is two and one now to Logan. So this is a pre-recorded video. Game was played at 12 o'clock, Harrison County High School. Here's the pitch, ball high and outside. The count goes three and one now to Logan. We have two outs. Scores eight to two, Cedartown. And here's the pitch, ball is fouled away. Count is full. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Logan Little up to bat, number 19. Logan steps in the box. And here's the payoff pitch from the Mount Zion pitcher. Ball outside. Logan gets first via free pass. And Beth O'Neill comes up to bat. who was able to make it to second base on her uh, little hit. Actually, it was an error. Hit the shortstop. Here's the pitch. Ball is hit to first. First fields. Don't know if she's going to make it. And she makes the tag on Annabeth, which is the third out for Cedartown. And uh, we did play one, one, excuse me, two runs. So now the score is eight to one in favor of Cedar Town. We'll be right back. Bottom half of the second inning. And up to bat for Mount Zion is Cross, the right fielder. Bottom of the second, score eight to one in favor of Cedartown. Mount Zion did make some noise in that uh, first inning. They started off with a Couple of base hits, scored a run, and then uh, and then we shut them down. Here's the pitch, swing and a strike. <clears throat> to cross. Cross steps back in the box. Daly's getting her sign from the dugout. And here's the pitch. Ball is tipped foul. Straight back. Count is no balls and two strikes now to cross. Daly ahead in the count here. No balls, two strikes, and the pitch. Good pitch outside. It was uh, a wasted pitch, but it was a good wasted pitch. Trying to get the hitter to chase. It was a good 0-2 pitch. And the pitch. Ball is hit to shortstop. Goes through Taylor's legs there. She... I don't know if it took a bad hop. I couldn't tell I was shielded by the umpire. Either way, um, the leadoff hitter for Mount Zion is on base, and up to bat is Bird, who is the left fielder. So 
sort of a disadvantage here being at ground level. I can't see through some people, uh, you know, to, to tell exactly what happened. We can tell by the video later, but here's the pitch. A batter squares around the bunt, foul. Corners work uh, crashing for Cedartown. If she bunted that or attempted to bunt that time, chances are she'll probably try it again. That's not written in stone, but uh, I'm just guessing here. And she does not square around the bunt. It's ball one. Should never assume anything, folks. I learned that lesson a long time ago. And the pitch. Ball is hit to no man's land. That was right out there between the pitcher at third base and shortstop, and it just died. And uh, runners safe at first. So now they have runners on first and second with nobody out and up to bat number 25, Frazier, who is the second baseman. They have runners on first and second now. Frazier steps in the box. Daly gets a sign from the dugout. And here's here's the pitch. Squares around the bunt. It's a good bunt. Ivory Fields throws to first for the out. Throws to Anna Beth at first base. It was covering because the corners were crashing. So we have one out now, but they have advanced to runners to second, third. It was a good bunt by the Mount Zion second baseman, Frazier. And up to bat now is the leadoff, Hogshead, who got a double, had a double in the first inning to lead. Well, uh, might have been a single. We'll see it in the video. Here's the pitch. Ball is hit hard back to Daly. Daly fields, throws to first for the out. The runner from third scores, but now there are two outs. And they have a runner on third. Up to bat is Lepard, who's the center fielder, number four. She may have had time to get the runner going home, but she bobbled it a little bit, so she felt like the sure out was at first, and I don't blame her. With the, with the, with the lead that we have, that one run is not going to hurt us, at least right now anyway. Here's the pitch. Strike call by Blue on the outside corner. Kendall set up on the outside corner and Daly hit the mitt perfectly. And here's the 0-1 pitch to Lepard. Actually, when she gets her sign, it will be. She toes the rubber and here's the pitch. Ball high, one count is one and one. The hitter just about offered it that one. One and one is the count. There are two outs. Runner on third. Score eight to two, and here's the pitch. Ball is hit foul off to the right side. Count is one and two now to Lepard. L-E-P-A-R-D, center fielder, number four. One and two, two outs. Bottom of the second inning. And here's the pitch. Ball low and outside. Counts even now. Two balls, two strikes to the Mount Zion hitter. Lepard. Here's the pitch. Ball is hit to the right side. Right fielder comes in. Hannah makes, oh. Didn't quite squeeze it. Uh, Hannah dropped the ball, and she will tell you she should have had it. That allows Mount Zion to score, and they have a runner on first base. Two outs with Woods up to bat. That was a slippery can of corn right there. 
And the pitch. Leonard goes down to second. There's the throw, gets through to center field. Here's the throw from Haven to third, not in time. So the runner advances from first to third. On, uh, he just got by second and short there in the center field. Runner advanced to third base. And up to bat is Corn, number 10, who is the first baseman. That Cedartown just needs to focus a little more on, on the task at hand here. Did I hear they're selling Boston butts? I think, I rem yeah, I remember they did that last year. So the count is, I believe, two and two. Uh, no, it's two. I don't know what he said. Ball is hit to third. Ivory Fields throws to first. Gets away from Avery. Hannah's there to back it up. Mount Zion scores another run. There's a runner on second base. The ball got away from Ivory a little bit and it just did tip the glove, the outstretched hand of Avery and went on up to the uh, fence over in right field and Hannah was able to field it and bring it in and hold the runner at second base. A strike one to Mount Zion hitter Woods, who's the third baseman, number 23. Count is 0-1-1. We have two outs. They have played three runs in this inning. Ball low. We've made a, a couple of errors, three actually, in this inning. Count is one and one. To Woods, here's the pitch. Ball tip, foul back. One and two now. Here's the pitch from Daly, the one two delivery. Swing and a miss, strike three. All right, that's three outs. That'll do it for two innings of play. Uh, Mount Zion was able to plate three runs um, off of three miscues by Cedartown in the inning. So now the score is Cedartown eight, Mount Zion four, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Due up here in the top half of the third inning is Chastity Washington. She'll be leading off for Cedartown. Top of the third score, Cedartown eight, Mount Zion four. On deck is Hannah Cochran. 
And the pitch. It's a bunt attempt by Chastity, but it was foul. Count is 0-1-1 now. And the pitch. Ball is hit to the left field. It's high and in foul territory. Left fielder couldn't get to it. So now the count, there's no balls and two strikes to Chastity. That was a very high pop-up foul ball. Here's the 0-2 delivery to Chastity. She's got to guard the plate. And there's another ball. That is the field going to hold it? Oh, wow. Another by that much. There's another <laughs> near home run. This one by Chastity. It just drifted foul. Count remains no balls and two strikes. And she got to guard the plate still. And the pitch. Oh, hit her. <clears throat> so Chastity will uh, take one from the, for the team there with a, a pitch to her shoulder, and she gets first base. Up to bat now is Hannah Cochran. You go ahead and say Chastity is on second now. Almost. Ball's popped up. She did not attempt to steal. Strike one. I know she can steal this base. We'll just see when she's going to do it. Count is 0-1-1 to Hannah. And the pitch. And there's the attempted steal. She is safe at second base. This ball one, one and one now to Hannah. Runner in scoring position. And Chastity in the pitch. Ball is hit to the left field. It's up high. Left fielder drifts under the ball and makes the catch. Chastity does not attempt to go to third. So that's one out. And up to bat is the top of the order, Taylor Westmoreland. One out. We have a runner in scoring position. Taylor steps in the box. And here's the pitch. And ball hit foul on the third base side over there. Gabe cuts Monroe a little scare. Strike one. And the pitch. Ooh, that ball is hit fouled on the left side again. Out of play. Count is 0-2 now to Taylor. <laughs> Taylor steps in the box. And the pitch. Oh, that ball's hit hard again down the left field side. Coach Monroe looks at her like, hey, what are you doing? Count remains 0-2. And Coach Monroe has abandoned the coaching box. Well, it, no, she doesn't go back in it. I don't blame her. I'd be sitting over there, too, with Taylor up the bat or standing over there where she is. Here's the 0-2 delivery. Oh, a little change of speed got Taylor. So now there are two outs. And up to bat is Haven Barclay, number 11, our center fielder. Haven steps in the box. Two outs now. We do have a runner at second in Chastity. And she's going to take third on the throw to the pitcher. That's the second time I've seen her do that. And that's what I mean. She's going to get some extra bases for you in a ball game. That's an extra base right there. 
that not just anybody can, can, can take, but she is fully capable of it with her speed. Here's the pitch to Haven. Haven hits the ball to the pitcher. Pitcher throws to first for the third out. So Seartown goes rather quietly in the bottom or the top half of the third. The score, Cedartown 8, Mount Zion 4. We'll be right back. half of the third inning score Cedar Town eight Mount Zion three and up to bat for Mount Zion is number five this will be a substitute it's Elia Phillips not sure what position but she is batting now she's leading off for Mount Zion and here's the pitch ball high Elia Phillips, number five. Count is one and zero oh to Phillips, and swing and a miss. Count is one and one, and I'm going to guess that. Wait a minute, there oh, we have, we have a number five Phillips. She's not a substitute. I'm sorry, she's the pitcher, actually, for Mount Zion. And the pitch, behind outside, two and one now to the Mount Zion pitcher. Count is two and one. Here's the pitch. Ball is hit hard to third, past third. Chastity will field and throw the ball into Taylor at cutoff. So that's a base hit for the pitcher to lead off the third inning. And up to bat now is Turner, who is the catcher, number three. That was a well-hit ball by Phillips. Got by Ivory before she could get her glove over there. That's why they call third base the hot corner, because you, you can get some hard shots hitting in there at you. And she's playing in a little bit, too. There's a pop-up. It's going to fall in between center. And we get the center in right field. And the runner from first had to hold up to see if it might be caught, which allowed us to get the runner at second. Haven fielded the ball, threw it to Taylor for the first out at second base. And up to bat now is Cross, who is the right fielder. Uh, pinch runner for the catcher. Didn't get a number, so I'm not sure who that is. Cross steps in the box, then she steps back out. Blue 
gets his mask on and is ready. Says play ball. And here's the pitch. Ball's hit hard to third. And uh, Chastity Fields throws into Taylor at shortstop. That's right there uh, why they call it the hot corner for sure. Ivory was in, and she just punched it right by her. So now they have runners at first and second with one out. And up the bat is number nine, Bird, the left fielder. And the pitch. Strike called. 0-1 now to Bird. Mount Zion making a little bit of noise here. Two very hit hard hit balls past third into left field. <clears throat> and the pitch. Strike one, strike two, actually. Swinging strike that time. Bird steps back in the box. In the hole, 0 and 2. Here's the pitch from Daly. Ball's a little low, gets away from Kendall. The runners will advance to second and third. Ball one, count is one and two to the hitter. On deck is Frazier, the second baseman. Two runners in scoring position now. The count is one ball, two strikes. There's one out. We're in the bottom of the third, and the score is Cedartown eight, Mount Zion four. And here's the one-two delivery. Ball low gets away from Kendall. They're going to score a run and advance a runner. That's a ball. Count is even now. So Mount Zion uh, creeping up on Cedartown here. Scores eight to five now. Count is two and two. One out. They have a runner on third. And the pitch. Ball high. Count goes full. Three and two. Starting to heat up down here a little bit, folks. And the pitch. So Bird draws a walk. We have runners on first and third, one out. And up to bat is Frazier, the second baseman for Mount Zion. Yeah. Frazier steps in the box. It's just one out now. They have runners on the corners. And here's the pitch. She squares around a bunt. I believe that was she offered at it. I'm not sure what Blue's going to call that. One ball. Hmm. Looked to me like she offered at it. But I could have been shielded too. Here's the pitch. Squares around the butt again. That's a strike. And the runner goes to second base. <laughs> one ball, one strike to Frazier. Will we see a squeeze bunt here? Time will tell. And the pitch. She does square around, and it's a good bunt. Ivory Fields throws, oh, throws to first. Good job by O'Neill to hold the runners at second and third there. So now there are two outs. On the 5-3 put out, the five, excuse me, 5-4. Five, And up to bat now is Hogshead, who is the leadoff hitter for Mount Zion.
And the pitch with two outs. Ball is hit to the left field. Past Chastity. That'll score two runs. And looks like the leadoff hitter is going to try for a triple, and she'll be in there standing up. That was a two RBI triple by the leadoff hitter from Mount Zion. And now it's an 8 7 ball game. And up to bat now is Lepard. Bottom of the third, two outs. Scores eight to seven now. Mount Zion has a runner on third base after the triple by Hogshead. Two RBI triple. And the pitch. Ball foul, straight back. I wouldn't one. One ball, one strike, Blue says. I'll make the correction. Two outs. Bottom of the third. Here's the pitch. Ball gets away from Kendall. Runner is going to attempt the score and gets away from uh, Ivory. So now the score is tied. Two outs. The count is two and one. Looks like we're having a conference. All we need is one out. It's a new ball game now. Scores eight to eight. Bottom of the third. And the pitch is hit up the middle past Daly. It was well struck. And up to bat is Corn. We just need one out, folks. It's being a little elusive here. And the pitch. Ball. Kendall throws in the first. And Reno gets back just in time. <laughs> Count is one ball, no strikes. There are two outs. And the pitch. Ball high. Ooh, got the runner. Ooh, that was so close at first. I've got count as one and one. Well, maybe one and oh. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Kendall makes the throw down to first again. Not in time. Count is one and one, I think. <laughs> and the pitch. Ball is hit to the right side. And Avery makes the catch for the third out. But not before... Mount Zion plates four runs in the bottom of the third. So now the score is tied as we go to the top of the fourth inning. And we'll be right back.
back for the top half of the fourth inning. And up to bat for Cedartown is Kendall, Ivory, and Avery. Scores tied eight to eight. Kendall steps in the box. And here's the pitch. Ball outside to start the top half of the fourth inning. Here's the pitch. Ball is hit hard and the left side foul. Count is one and one. Top of the fourth, score is eight to eight. And the pitch. Kendall lays off, ball low. Count is two and one. Ivory Boozer on deck. Avery Davis in the hole. And here's the pitch. Ball is hit to left center field. The center fielder, oh, right left fielder comes over and catches the ball. For the first out. Ball was hit to uh, what you would consider uh, the warning track because <laughs> it was that close. And up to bat now is Ivory Boozer. And the pitch. Ivory's had two hits today already. And the pitch. Mm, swing and a miss, strike one. Count is one and one now. To the Cedartown third baseman, Ivory Boozer. Ivory steps in the box. Pitcher toes the rubber. And the pitch. Ball outside. Two and one now. Cedartown in need of uh, some more runs here. And the pitch. Ball is hit to right field. Right field comes in and it drops down for Ivory's third base hit of the day. So we have a runner at first with Avery Davis coming up to bat. Logan Little on deck. Let's see if we can put some something together here. Avery always a threat. Here's the pitch. Ball is hit hard to third. Third drops the ball. And uh, everyone is safe. So now we have runners at first and second with Logan Little up to bat. Here's an opportunity for Logan to get an RBI. We have a runner in, on second base in Ivory Boozer. We'd love to see her get an RBI here. We'll see what uh, Coach Monroe has up her sleeve. She'll probably let her just hit away. And here's the pitch. Ball is hit to, oh, it's going to fall in for a base hit. Nice job. Ivory rounds third, and she's going to score. Asking you shall receive, right? Nice piece of hitting by Logan. And Cedartown scores run up to bat now is Annabeth O'Neill. And number 18 will go into run now for Logan. Annabeth O'Neill. Steps in the box, but realizes Blue's not ready. And 
And the pitch to Annabeth, to Bo. Ball's hit to first. It's a dribbler, which allows the runners to go to second and third. Annabeth's jumping on that first pitch, and their timing's a little bit off, it seems like. But the runners advance. There are two outs, though. And up to bat is Chastity, our left fielder. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, strike one. We could use these two runners here. A base hit would score two. I feel pretty certain. As long as he gets through the infield. Here's the pitch. Oh, swing at a high and away ball by Chastity. She knows she shouldn't have swung at that one. A little bit anxious there. She needs to be a little bit more patient. And here's the 0-2 delivery with two outs and two runners on. Ball is hit to left field. Is it going to drop in? It does. Foul ball. Just foul. Can't remain no can't remains no balls and two strikes to Chastity. She's got to guard the plate. Nothing close. Lay off that high pitch though. And the pitch. Ball's hit to left field. Left fielder camps under it and makes the catch for the third out. Cedartown does manage to score one run. So at the end of three and a half, the score is Cedartown nine, Mount Zion eight. And we'll be right back, folks. Bottom half of the fourth inning, score is 9-8 to eight, Cedartown. Cedartown leads by the slimmest of margins. And up to bat now for Mount Zion, I, I believe, is Woods. Number three, number 23, yes, Woods. D. Woods leading off the inning. And here's the pitch from Daly. Strike call by Blue, outside corner, painted the corner. Nice pitch by Daly. And the pitch, ball is hit to the right side, and Avery makes a good play for the first out. There's a foul ball off to the right side, just outside the dugout, uh, Mount Zion's dugout. Avery made a good catch for the first out. So Woods is gone, and now Phillips, who is the pitcher, uh, hit a line drive uh, for Mount Zion to last at bat. And here's the pitch. Ball high. Count is 1-0 and now. One out, nobody on. Bottom of the fourth inning. Cedar Town leads 9-8. Here's the pitch. Ball is hit. Oh, just over Annabeth's head. Line drive. It goes to the fence. She rounds for second. And the throw, it's a, tack, it's a cutoff, Annabeth. And uh, the pitcher, it's a double. I believe that's her second base hit of the day. 
second good base hit, just out of the reach of Annabeth. Up to bat now is the catcher, Turner, and we have a pinch runner for the pitcher, number 16, Kate Ritchie, I believe. Yeah, Kate Ritchie is pinch running for uh, Mount Zion's pitcher, and we have up to bat is Turner, who's the catcher. One out, they have a runner on second. And here's the pitch from Daly. Ball is hit to second base, pass Annabeth. Haven Fields throws into Annabeth. That's a double and an RBI. So now the score is tied nine to nine. And up to bat is Cross, the right fielder. Mount Zion showing that they can hit the ball. Looks like we're going to change pitchers. Kristen coming in to replace Daly. And while Kristen warms up, we'll, we'll take a short break and be right back. <laughs> Kristen Cash is the new pitcher for Cedartown. And up to bat for Mount Zion is Cross. Scores tied, down to nine. Mount Zion has a runner on second base, and there's one out in the bottom of the fourth. And the pitch from Kristen. Ball just inside. So Cedartown has <clears throat> scored nine runs, and Mount Zion has answered with nine of their own runs. And they're threatening here. Here's the pitch. Ball has popped up to shortstop. I can't see because of blue, but there's two outs now. And up to bat for Mount Zion is Bird, the left fielder. Here's the pitch from Kristen. Ball inside. Count is 1 and 0. Oh. Two outs, bottom of the fourth. Here's the pitch. Hits the hits the batter. So now we have runners at first and second for the number nine hitter, Frazier. Two outs. We need this last out. Score's tied, nine to nine. And I, I know that hurt. It hit right on the bone, or ankle. Not a good place to get hit at any speed. And the pitch to Frazier, swing and a miss, strike one. And the pitch, ball low. Count is 2-0 oh now. 
to Frazier. Excuse me, one and one. She swung at the first pitch. One and, it's one and one. And the pitch. Ball hit the shortstop. Taylor Fields throws to first for the third out. So they limit Mount Zion to one run in that inning. So the score at the, at the end of four is Cedartown nine, Mount Zion nine. We'll be right back. All right, we're back. Hannah Cochran up to bat with Taylor Westmoreland on deck. Haven Barkley in the hole. We're in the top half of the fifth inning. The score is Cedar Town nine, Mount Zion now. They have answered every one that we have, every run that we have produced. And Hannah steps in the box, and here's the pitch. Ball low. And the pitch. Ball's it out of play on the left side. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Ball is one and one. Oh, count is one and one. To Hannah, double zero, and the pitch. The ball is hit to center field. Is it going to drop in? Yes. No, it's caught by the center fielder. So that's one out, and up to bat is Taylor Westmoreland. And the pitch. Mm. Swing and a miss. Just a little tip there. Count. There's no balls in one strike to Taylor. Starting to warm up here, folks. And the pitch. Mm. Ball outside. One and one now to Taylor. And the pitch, ball, low. Count is two and one now. And the pitch, ball outside. The count goes three and one. Looking for something good to hit here. And the pitch. Mm, ball is hit to the right side. Right fielder going to catch it. No, she does not. Taylor makes it to second base safely. Good hustle by Taylor. So now we have a runner in scoring position with Haven Barkley up to bat. <clears throat> we need a base hit. Base hit would score a run with Taylor's speed. 
Feel pretty certain about that. And the pitch. And it's a bunt attempt foul. Third base side. A little drag bunt attempt. Haven steps in the box. And here's the pitch. Ball outside. Taylor makes her way to third base. She's safe. The third baseman was playing way in. Uh, Taylor saw that and took the base. Count is one and one to Haven. Taylor on third now. And the pitch. Ball is hit to the left side. Foul. By about a foot and a half. Count is one and two now to Haven. We play again at two o'clock against Harrelson County, and I would imagine it's going to immediately follow this game. It's 136 now. I think they have a time limit on this game, too. Here's the pitch. Ball is hit to the left field. Left fielder makes the catch. Taylor tags up and scores the 10th run for Cedar Town. So now there are two outs. And up to bat is Kendall with nobody on base. Just keep it going with two. And the pitch to Kendall. Ball high outside. Count is 1-0 oh now. And the pitch. Ball inside. Count goes to 2-0. Oh. Kendall can look for something in her zone right now. Ahead in the count, two balls, no strikes, and here's the pitch. Ball is hit to the right side and out of play. Count is two and one now. Top of the fifth, two outs. Score ten to nine, Cedar Town. And here's the two one delivery to Kendall. Ball is hit to the left field. Is it going to fall? It's going to be foul against the fence. So the count is even now. Two balls, two strikes to Kendall. Be nice to have a two out rally here. Stitterton was enjoying a eight to one lead there, but Mount Zion came charging back, and we helped him with uh, some misplays. Kendall fouls that one back. Count is even two and two. And actually, we capitalized on some of their miscues as well. Each team held the other to one run in the previous inning. And here's the 2 2 delivery. To Kendall, it's ball outside, three and two. Full count now. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. And here's the payoff pitch. Ball's hit to left field. A uh, shortstop is under it and makes the catch for the third out. So that's the end of the top half of the fifth inning. Cedartown does play one run. So now the score is Cedartown 10, Mount Zion 9, and we'll be right back.
Okay, here we are for the bottom half of the fifth inning. Cedartown holds the lead <clears throat> by the slimmest of margins. Just one run. The score is 10 to 9. <clears throat> I believe time has expired. I heard an alarm going off. I kind of not sure if that was uh, the time clock, but it uh, makes sense. It could have been. Here's the pitch. Ball high. Count is 1 and 0. Oh. We need to keep them from scoring here. It is the time. And the pitch from Kristen. Strike called. One and one now. To Hogshead, number two. Swing and a miss, strike two. Hogshead has gotten a couple of hits in this ball game. And here's the pitch. Ball is hit to the right side, foul. Count remains one and two to Hogshead. A short stop from Mount Zion. And the pitch. Ball is hit hard, foul. Woo, that was just foul. And the uh, first base right field foul line. Maybe uh, maybe a foot at the most. Count remains one and two. She would have run for days because I've seen that she has some speed. Count is one and two. Kristen gets her sign. And the pitch. Ball is hit hard to second. Annabeth Fields throws to first for the out. Good job. Good, good stretch by Avery. So that's that's good. We got the leadoff hitter. One out. And up to bat is Lepard. And the pitch. Ball's low and inside. And the pitch. Ball is hit to second base. And the best field throws to first for the second out. Good job, Annabeth. Two outs now. With number 10 up to bat for Mount Zion, and that is Korn, the first baseman. And the pitch. Ball low. 1-0. To corn. Two outs now. Bottom of the fifth, Cedar Town leads 10 to 9. And here's the pitch ball outside. Count goes to two balls and no strikes now. To the Mount Zion first baseman. Number 10, corn. Kristen gets her sign. Nods in confirmation. Checks your wrist. And here's the pitch. Ball inside count goes to 3-0 and now. And the pitch. Strike call. 3-1 and one now. Just right there again, Kristen is fine. That was a good strike. Do not give up on the hitter. We need to start out. Oh, ball hit right back to Kristen. It was a good pitch and throw to first for the third out. So, Mount Zion goes quietly 
in the bottom half of the fifth inning. So after five, the score is Satertown 10. And that was, I was right. So that was uh, the alarm that I heard was uh, the end of time for this game. So Satertown wins the, uh, the first game of a doubleheader that they're in. Doubleheader facing two different teams, but they win the first one against Mount Zion 10 to nine. And we'll be back uh, shortly for the second game. Second game starts at two, so hang with us, folks. We'll be right back. 